Peggy 16. There's a few times that we're like people show up with your face tattooed on them is a little awkward, but you know, what do you do? Hey, if people love you enough to tattoo your face on them, then it's pretty cool, you know? Like if I any wrestler past or present, who would it be? Um, I've got a couple on that list. I would have like, I mean, everybody knows that I want to compete against Andre. I would have liked to compete against Ernie Ladd. I mean, Ernie Ladd was a tremendous athlete and a tremendous competitor. Uh, Big John Studd would have been a good one. Uh, Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff in his heyday uh, would have been one I'd like to have competed against. Um, but my all-time, if I had to pick a guy to work with all-time and have like a really intense program and an angle with, it'd be Bret Hitman Hart when he was in his prime. Uh, Bret Hart had an amazing way of working with big guys and, and really having tremendous matches with him. So some of the matches Bret had with Yokozuna were just unbelievable. First one would have to be the first Howling. Um, I would have to go, of course, everyone's going to pick The Exorcist, but The Exorcist, you know, scared the crap out of a lot of us. So, um, I would have to say The Howling, The Exorcist, Jeepers Creepers, the first one, and uh, and Sino Evil was pretty good too. I got to I got to put my buddy Kane over because Sino Evil was pretty good too. Sino Evil 2 is supposed to be amazing, so. Yes, it was because I'm a Star Trek fan. Yes, thank you. That's a good question. Um, I did. I had a great role in there, and I um, actually it was funny because uh, Brett Spiner was actually working on there playing Grandfather soon, and I was a huge fan of Next Generation. So I watched every episode of Next Generation. I got the entire DVD collection, much to my wife and my kids' utter dismay. Because, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, definitely a Trekkie, man. I go way back to the paddle ball game where you had the bars and you just bounced the bar back and forth. And then we were thought it was so crazy because we actually got a tank. And do, 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 do. Yeah, I go all the way back to then. Uh, what was the game I spelled out? Like Night Driver and uh, Mario Brothers and Donkey Kong. And yeah, I go all the way back then. Yeah, I'd love to be in, uh, sure, I'd love to be in a Gears. It'd be cool to be in Gears of War. I could dig that, you know. I, you know, if, you know, like a better version of Coltrane or something, you know. It's the big train coming through. <laughs> when Jericho and I were tag team champions together. That was a good time and a lot of fun. My favorite match that I've watched would have to be the uh, Undertaker Shawn Michaels. That was just, uh, that was two of the best uh, doing it like nobody else can. It's a good question. I think if I had a choice, if I, if I couldn't be a, a WWE superstar and I had another choice and I had to choose, I would probably say I would like to be a high school history teacher and a basketball coach. Because that would be something that would be close enough as rewarding as being a WWE superstar, helping to shape young men and young women's minds to, to go forth in the world and conquer would probably be pretty cool. Being a teacher would be pretty awesome. WWE Superstar Big Show here telling you 2K15, the single greatest wrestling game ever. I'm telling you guys, I've seen this in action. It is so lifelike. It is so real. It's like being there. You miss it on this, you're missing out on something special. Don't make me come find you.